How's it going guys? In today's tutorial we're going to be working with Adobe Illustrator. Alright, so as you can see here, we're going to be working with this little bunny. Um, this little bunny uh, I felt was kind of easy to make, uh, not, not too complicated. And one of the plus things about working with this bunny that we're going to be covering today with Illustrator is how to arrange your shapes. See, in Illustrator, you could be working with layers, but it's kind of creating its own layers. So one of the things you can work with is how to arrange things to front and arrange things to the back, and then arrange them in between using the layers panel. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to trace out this bunny. Yes, I know, more tracing. But this is going to work out in the long run for you guys because it's going to allow you all to learn how to master the pen tool in perfection. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our pen tool here. And one thing to visualize as we're working with um, Illustrator is to kind of see the image for the shape that it is. For example, we have a head, we have some ears. These ears are their own shape that are not stuck to this face. The eyes are their own shapes that are not stuck to the face, the nose, and so on and so forth. If we can see this and visualize it in our head, we'll have a much easier time to be able to trace this out. So the first thing we're gonna do is start off with this big head of it that it has. Now, as soon as I grab my pen tool, one thing to keep in mind before I start tracing is to look here at my color panel. So a lot of you were asking me, you know, what's the difference between these two? As I had mentioned before, um, this one right here is your fill. So as soon as you start coloring in, and creating something, it has a fill. It's filled in with this blue color. And it also has an outline with this outline color. So we have a fill. We also have, let me make a copy and another copy. We also have this gradient tool. So if I select this middle one and I click the gradient tool, there we have a gradient. And we also have this last one which means none meaning that we're gonna make it transparent and as you can see we can see the the little bunny in between because it is now transparent if I were to do the same thing when I click here I can also choose transparent I cannot click gradient it won't work but I can choose to have a different color outline which it works right so one of the first things to do I'm gonna go ahead and delete that is to go over here to our layers panel. If you don't see this, just go to Windows and then look for layers and click a check mark on it. And you'll be able to see your layers. I have provided this image for you to work with, which is the little bunny. Um, make sure you lock the layer of the little bunny so that way when you start tracing, you don't, uh, you don't move this image around accidentally. So we're gonna go ahead and lock the layer and then I'll go ahead and delete this blue bunny that I have here. Delete. And I'll go ahead and create a new layer on top. So now you should have, before you've even started tracing, you should have layer one, which is your bunny, and layer two, which is where we're going to start tracing the bunny. And please, please follow along. Do not get ahead of yourself and do not get confused at something I have not done. Try not to do anything that I have not done. If you don't see me do it, don't go and do it yourself. So now that we have this layers two, let's go ahead and grab our pen tool. Let's go ahead and select our fill and we're gonna say, I don't want any. And then for our color, we're gonna select our color, double click. Once we double click, we can select what color. I'm gonna choose something bright, something that I'll be able to see as I'm tracing. To me, I like red. So I'll go ahead and go with red. Now we can go ahead and begin tracing. Using command or control, plus and minus, we can zoom in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom, hold space bar so I can drag around in my image, and go ahead and begin tracing. Now these steps, as you already know, can take a little while. So the first one, as you can see, I'll go ahead and go back. 
I click on this little corner and then I kind of follow this around to where I feel it's going to like click. So right around here, I'll hold it and then drag in a downwards position. That allows me to get a nice curve around the face. Now, I'm not going to continue going from here because look at what happens. So I'm going to control Z and I'm going to click inside my anchor point. Clicking inside my anchor point gets rid of this stretchy line we have down here. Now I can zoom out. So I'll make a smaller curve right here, just like so. Make one here. Bring this one up here. Curve it out. Bring this one here. And yes, see, this is already starting to look much, much better. And then bring this one in for the final version right there. So go ahead and click your anchor point right here and then just bring it out here. Now a lot of this is going to take practice so just watch as I'm deleting anchor points, bringing this out, doing the little hairs. So once you've done that we now have the first face structure. This little tiny face, right? Uh, so now that we have the face what we want to do is kind of move it out of place so that it doesn't confuse us now. Um, so what we're going to do is just click it. And I've noticed this issue before. In Illustrator, it might be due to the fact that you're used to Photoshop. In Photoshop, if you select a layer, you can automatically move anything that's inside that layer. Well, in Illustrator, it doesn't quite work that way. In Illustrator, if you select the selection, you have to make sure that when you're dragging it around, you actually click within the actual item or shape vector that you have created. So if I were to click on this little bunny's face and try to move, nothing would happen. If I click again, nothing happens. So what I need to do is make sure I select the actual path and when I'm gonna move it, click on the actual path. And as you can see, the mouse um, kinda changes that lets me know I am now on the path. When I move it, I'm just gonna hold shift on my keyboard so that it actually stays straight and just move it out of the way. I'm going to keep going to the side and move it out of the way up, up until we get to this area where we're in the gray. So now we can go ahead and work with our bunny ears and our bunny ears this is what we have to keep in mind. In this little area we don't have to trace this to perfection. The reason why is because if you notice it almost looks like as if the bunny ears are actually behind the face and they are so the way we're going to do this is we're going to zoom into this bunny ear we're actually going to start inside the face right here and we're going to curve this little section now that we have that we can actually click down here and curve it a little down come down here and curve this to the bunny ear like that and then bring it in for the final curve so the less points, the better. If you found yourself doing like way too many points, go back and try again until you have it to one, two, three, four points, and then you have it correct. Um, after this, we can go ahead and close out this anchor point and just do a straight line this way. Now you may be wondering, why are we doing it like this? That sounds confusing. It'll all make sense once we start filling it in with color. So again, zoom out, make sure you hold down shift as you're moving it so that it stays proportional and we're just going to move it in this way so that it falls along with the actual face right around there that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and work with our little bunny hands right here so we're going to go ahead and grab our pen tool again starting this little curve and then just bring it in like this Curve it back up, like so, and bring it in just like this. Now notice that this hand does not actually close, which is something a little bit different that we haven't yet done. So we're actually going to leave it open. So Command Shift A to deselect and just leave it like so. Now we're going to continue with this little round circle that's right here for his leg. And again, we're going to start on the inside drag it this way and bring it down and go for the last curve just like so 
Now we can go ahead and click on the anchor point to remove that line and close it up. And now we have this thing that looks almost like a letter D. And again, it will all make sense at the end. Um, now we come down here and we're going to do his little foot. Again, start on the inside, bring it around, bring it this way, and then close it up in his foot, just like so. Then go ahead and click on the anchor point and close it up. So now we're going to grab our selection tool, zoom out a little bit. We're going to click on this white area and select everything that's inside this square that you see here will be selected. So once I do that, it selects everything. And again, make sure you're actually clicking on a path because if you don't, you'll deselect it. So let me select it again, click on a path, move it to the side, and hold Shift. Shift will keep it proportional. So as I'm moving it to the side and I'm holding Shift, I'll make sure that this little hand is barely touching the face, right around there, because we started inside the face, remember? So we'll go ahead and leave that there. Now we're going to go ahead and do this right eye. The way we're going to do that is just the same way. Start at the top, create our curve, curve it around, and one final curve, just like so. Now notice I didn't do it quite perfect, but it's okay because we're doing it to our likings, right? And we'll go ahead and do this inner part, curve it, curve it, and right here, as you can see, mine is showing me that it's not going to be a, cur a perfect curve, and that's not how I want it. So I'm going to control Z, select that anchor point, bring it down, and then do the curve just the way I want it. See how that anchor point works? I hope you're starting to make sense of this now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab this point, come down here, and just do this curve that's right here. just like so and continue all the way around until we finally make our closure. Now we can grab our selection tool. With our selection tool we can now grab this eye, zoom out and again make sure you select your path, hold shift and bring it over to the side. And we're going to go ahead and put this eye to where it's kind of touching this side of the face. Now that may start to look a lot like a, uh, like a lot of mess, right? But don't worry about it. That's only because they're outlines and we actually haven't filled them in yet. But it will get right to that in just a second. Now we're going to go ahead and finish them up with our little nose. So we'll go ahead and start tracing the nose just like so. Bring this down, this one over here, and then close it up. So now we have our nose. For the bottom part, for his little mouth, we're actually going to start in the inside of the nose, come down, do this curve, close the anchor point, come back to this point and make that little uh, curve there, take off that anchor point, come here, do that curve, take off the anchor point, try to match it up as best as you can, do the curve, take off the anchor point, and then close it up inside the nose. So now we have this little shape right here. So we can go ahead and drag this one over to the center of his face. So now we have everything pretty much except for this line. So let's go ahead and do this line. Start inside the eyeball, come this way, and then just curve it down, just like so. And we can Command Shift A to deselect. And we're gonna bring, oops. And we're gonna bring it this way as well and just leave it right there. So now, now we can go ahead and just work with this that we have right here. Now one thing to keep in mind is the way you make selections in Illustrator. So if you hold shift you can select multiple items as you're clicking one by one. If you select everything and you hold down shift you can deselect items as you click on them one by one. Let me show you what I mean. So if I select everything, by holding shift on my keyboard, I can choose to deselect the ear, to deselect that line, to deselect the face, or to deselect the nose. 
Now the same rule applies if I actually wanted to do it in reverse. Well, in this case, I only want the ear and this line. Uh, maybe I want this hand and this. You notice what I'm doing? I'm only selecting the items that I want by holding shift on my keyboard. Go ahead and try that for a second and then we'll get back to work. Alright, now that you've tried that, let's go ahead and do the next step, which is going to be to create an exact duplicate of this on the other side. The way we do that is by selecting everything that we want, which is we're going to select everything, and deselecting the items we don't want, which is going to be the face, the nose, and the mouth. Everything else we want a copy of. So we're going to select Alt on our keyboard, and that will give you those two little mouses, the black and white one. As we drag it to the side and hold Shift so that it can stay proportional, it'll make a copy. Now we can go to Object, Transform, and Reflect it. Once we reflect it, you should get an item that looks like this, and we want it to be vertical. You can also click Preview if you want to see what it'll look like. Once we do that, we'll click OK and we'll bring this guy over to this little part. So now we have something that looks a little bit more like a bunny. And notice we missed one part down here at the bottom where the bunny is supposed to have his little body. So we'll go ahead and move this guy's a little more to the right and this guy's a little more to the left. And notice I moved it very little. The way I was doing that was by using the arrow keys on my keyboard. So you can go ahead and try and do that as well. So what we're going to do here is select our pen tool, start somewhere near our hands, make sure they're inside your face, and come down here to the bottom. You should see somewhere where it kind of looks like it's connecting. Then connect these lines and can't come back up. And then just close it up. And then we can deselect. So now we have what looks more like a mess. But actually, if we select everything now and we deselect this line this line here and his little hands we can now actually turn this into one solid color just like that we can actually select the hands as well and turn that over now we have more of a silhouette of this bunny but in here we have the the eyes so I'm actually gonna go control Z Control Z so I can see the lines again. And I'm going to work with my eyes first. That way it starts to make sense. So my eyes, I'll select both of them. I want them in black. So as soon as I switch this over to red, they get filled in, right? Because we were working with red. But I'm going to double click on this red and select black and click OK. Now I can see these two that are part of the eyes. I want those in white. So I'll go ahead and select those. And once they're selected, I was holding shift, I'll go ahead and switch those over and then double click and change those to white. So now we have our eyes. Now we can select this face, switch it over and change it to whatever color you want. Get creative. I'll go with maybe a little light yellow and click OK. Now it's starting to look more like a little chicken then it is a bunny. Who cares, right? It's an Easter bunny. Now we'll go ahead and select the ears. And now, if I want to select the same color, I don't need to go and change everything the way I was doing. I can just simply go to my color picker, which is this one here, and it'll match my outlines and my color. So if I click here, there it goes. Now I have the same color as the ears. And then I'll go ahead and grab my hands, my body, or actually I'll just do this to select everything that's underneath. Press I to select the color picker and press on the face. And now we have this, which is starting to look okay, but it doesn't have an outline. So we can't distinguish between the shapes. So what we'll do is we'll grab the face, double click on the outline, and we'll change that to black. Uh, hold on, let's do that one more time. So right here, select black and press OK. 
So now as you can see, we have a black outline. So we can now select the ears and everything that was down here by holding shift, go to our eyedropper and select the face. Now everything will have an outline, but this is where we start to arrange our shapes. But give me a second and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I had some camera malfunctions. Um, anyways, back to this little bunny here. Now as you can see here, we have all these that are stacked in the wrong order. The reason is because we didn't arrange this to be one on top of the other. And that's what we're going to do now. So by selecting the ear here, we can select these lines. So we can switch those over to black. Now I'm going to select the lines and the ear, hold shift, and select the line and the ear here. I'm going to right click and put a range and send it to the back. That'll put it behind the face. As you can see, this is already starting to look a little bit better there. Uh, now we'll go ahead and grab this body part. And the body part, we'll go ahead and press a range, send it to the back. And now we'll do the same thing with this guy, with this guy, with this guy, and this guy. Arrange and send to back. Now we want this two to be behind the leg. So arrange and send to back. Now we do have an issue here because these hands are supposed to be behind the face but on top of the body. So what we're going to do is grab everything at once, arrange and send to back. Now the hands are below the body. Makes sense so far, I hope. And now we're going to change this to maybe a light little brown. I'll go ahead and go into this area, change this. Now we have a light brown. Go ahead and grab this, press I, and just select the eye. Right click, get your little nose, right click, arrange it, and bring to front. And now we have a cool little bunny. I hope that was fun. And if you want to go one extra step on this, and you feel like you have the courage to do so, you can actually grab all of this, at the same time, deselect the eyes, the white part of the eyes, the nose, and his mouth. Go over here to where it says uniform and choose with profile one. And then up the outline to around three points. That'll give you this little sharp edges at the edges and then like an extended width all around. Kind of gives it more dynamics more um, creative look. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you learned something on this one. And as always, stay tuned in the next one. Thank you very much. Peace out.